Hey guys, David again. Today we're gonna give you a quick review of the three second tent. Let's see if it really takes three seconds. Some of you might recognize this place. It's Lake Pleasant off Carefree Highway in Phoenix, Arizona. Here you'll see all kinds of wildlife. Wild donkeys are one of them. You'll also see beautiful mountain views. This trail is how most people get to the trail called the Back Way to Crown King, which is also a Jeep badge of honor for those Jeepers out there. Let's not forget the beautiful views of Lake Pleasant. Some people come out here for fishing, boating, hiking, and all sorts of off-road excitement. See what I did there? Did you know that Lake Pleasant is also known for some of the best inland scuba diving in the western states? I had no idea. Supposedly you'll find all sorts of items underneath the lake, which include a poker table, chairs, fake skeletons holding a waterproof deck of cards, a Christmas tree, and a Volkswagen. Lake Pleasant is 23,362 acres, covering a little more than 11 and a half square miles. Here's some more of that wildlife. Cows all over the place. Beautiful. Getting ready to give you a review of the three second tent. Let's see if it really takes. Let's see if it takes three seconds. I set up some basic workout mats here for a little cushion. I'm not using a tarp. In Arizona, there's no moisture right now. Wow, was it hot out there. It was at least 98 degrees when I started to set this up. I did watch their YouTube video to get a better idea of how to set this up. I gotta say, if you have a longer reach, this part might be a little easier. Here it goes, the moment of truth. Yep, it looks like I'm dancing with a tent. That's how it felt anyway. My wife, she just kept laughing. I kept expecting it to go poof, all done. Anyway, after dancing a little bit more, I remembered. Four seconds. But it was pretty quick and easy. The trick was to make sure this center part dropped down. So this also comes with a rain fly, just in case it rains. Again, out here in Arizona, not so much. This would go up top to help keep it waterproof. I'm not gonna put it on because I'm sure it's gonna be hot enough out here. So, it comes with the rain fly, little carry bag. It's got some thin stakes, which would probably be better off on grass or dirt. The sand, if it was windy, these would pull right out. For a quick little trip, a quick little overnighter, doesn't look bad at all. It works. This one is the large, it fits three people. It's 79 inches by 79 inches square. There's an opening on this side, got a, looks like a no see -em mesh with the cover, and there's one directly on the opposite side. So you have two doors or two exits you have a little pouch inside here if you wanted to keep your cell phone maybe two cell phones that's about it small pouch well I'll see you guys in the morning and I'll let you know how we held up good morning a little bit I'll let you guys know what it was like to sleep inside that so-called three-second tent took me about a minute my wife said 
it wasn't uh, too bad. Extremely hot in the desert. Need a battery operated fan or air conditioning for a tent. That would be nice. But in a little bit, I'll give you some measurements and tell you what I think. Reactive Outdoor. That's the company who's selling this tent. You might have seen the ad online or during a YouTube video or on Facebook. Those ads were all over the place. I remember the first time I saw it, I couldn't believe how easy they made it seem. We set up the fancy entrance so we wouldn't get any sand inside. We also have the propane fire pit going to help keep the flies down. They were biting all over the place. All right, guys, here's the moment of truth. So I'm fun sized, which is about 5'5", five five, and the measurements that they advertise, I think, are a little misconstrued. So inside, you're looking at about 70 inches. This, this way here, about 75. Yeah, so this way is a little bit longer. Now inside, from the bottom to the top, 45 inches. So, I mean, it's enough to kneel down in, but again, I'm fun sized. So being that this thing came with really skinny, really cheap stakes, and the screw in kind that I had didn't work because the sand only seems to be about this deep. Underneath it's probably more solid so they wouldn't go in any further. Rocks and sand, that worked fine last night. While the measurements they gave were a little exaggerated, I still felt for two people, definitely not three, this would be a relatively good tent for a quick overnighter. With both doors halfway open and the rain fly off, there was barely any air movement though. They could have added some more ventilation. Don't want to get my wife's luxurious entrance dirty. All right, so it took a little longer than three seconds to uh, set up. Not crazy about these little flimsy arms. Let's see how long it takes to uh, break down. Okay guys, here comes the moment of truth. Originally, on a scale from one to 10, I was going to give this a five for its budget price point. However, I did use this two more times before I finished editing this video. On the second overnighter, Two legs kept bending the wrong way and wouldn't keep the tent up. I added two splints I made from extra stakes I had on both legs and that seemed to work. On that night it was almost dark and I didn't even think of filming. I gotta say, way easier to break down than it is to set up. I knew I should have been a little worried when I saw they only offered a 30 day warranty. But I thought, how bad could it be? I did reach out to the company and even asked how much it would be to get fixed. I had no intention of getting this fixed. Their only response was, sorry, it's past the 30-day warranty. Wait until I tell you what happened on the third time I used this tent. And that's your three-second tent. Yep, more splints. This time, using breaker bars and a ratchet extension. Oh yeah, there was a gust of wind just as I was setting it up, and snap, I couldn't believe it. It broke the leg right at the joint. Look at that. More splints and more electrical tape. This was just the third time I ever used this tent, and this time it was for a four-night, five-day trip to the Sierras in California. I'd better get some more tape. I was just glad I hadn't finished this review. 
Also, please don't forget to like and comment. Thanks for watching.